It's embarkation day. We are so excited. We are boarding the Disney Magic in New Orleans on the Mississippi River. This is a viewer cruise organized by the YouTube channel Leg Life, our friends Adam and Sherry. We get to meet a lot of viewers. We're so excited. We're going to Cosmo Magic Mexico. We're going to the Grand Cayman Islands and we just can't wait to get on this Disney cruise on the Disney Magic. Yep, let's go. Magic. Thank you very much. Thank you. you. We just got to the port. We'll let you know how we got here and what that process was like in a little bit. It was so cool to see the Disney Magic as we were pulling up to the terminal here. Hi. What's up, guys? You guys ready to go cruising? So ready. I'm um, beyond ready. You guys ready? Yeah, Found it. <laughs> check in here at the Irata Street Terminal in New Orleans has been pretty smooth so far. We still have to do our last check in and then we're going to wait till they call our boarding number. All right, we're fully checked in now. We met up with friends and we're ready to board. We want to let you guys know a little bit about how we got here. We ended up having an amazing cab driver that picked us up from the airport yeah. two days ago who gave us his number. We waited in a really long line at the airport. It was like 30, 40 minute line. And then we have the best taxi driver. And he he said, hey, when you go to the port, just give me a call, I'll give you a ride. So he showed up right on time today. Yep. And he said he could pick us up again when we get off the ship, so. And the, the drive to the port was really easy. The great thing about the Irata Street Terminal is that it's covered. So for us, it's raining a lot today. It was really nice to be covered. By the way, we will put um, Don, our cab driver's name and phone number in the description of this video in case you're from New Orleans and want a fantastic taxi driver to pick up from the airport or anything like that because he's great and you can depend on him. We definitely, definitely recommend him. All right, I think they're going to call our boarding group number really soon, so we're going to get on the ship. <laughs> they just called our boarding group number. We're in line, ready to get on the magic. You excited to get on, ship? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. There she is. There is the magic and you can see how much it's raining outside. It is coming down. A little sad that uh, it's raining so much. We're hoping by the time we do sail away that the rain will stop because we really want to hang out outside on the top deck and watch as we sail away on the Mississippi. Even if we can't do that, it's okay because we're about to get on this amazing ship, the original Disney Cruise Line ship. There's the magic. Day. Thanks, you too. Christopher, and Lizzie. Yep. Yep. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Here we go. Good morning. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hi. Hi. We're famous again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smell it. Smell it. Smell the ship. Oh, smell it. Look at the fish in the way, guys. It's so bad. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? This is our friends, Sean and Lynn. Subscribe to Leg Life! We are fully on board. <laughs> We've been taking pictures, saying hi to friends. It's been so much fun. But right now we're going to Rapunzel's Royal Table for lunch because it is pouring down outside. We usually enjoy cabanas we can sit outside on embarkation day, but it's raining. So we're going to enjoy a nice, quiet, sit-down lunch at Rapunzel's Royal Table. First time here. Still looking forward to this. And we're hungry. Everything happened so fast today, which is great. We got on board and it was kind of a whirlwind, but we never had a chance to introduce ourselves. If you haven't met us before, um, I'm Carrie. I'm Chris. And we are from Central California. Uh, this is our fourth Disney cruise, and we're here with our daughters, Lindsay and Alyssa. We're going to let them introduce themselves as well. Hi, I'm Lindsay. Um, I'm 14 years old. I'm almost 15. Um, that's my sister. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I'm Alyssa. I'm 12 years old. Almost 13. But yeah, almost 13. What are you guys most excited for for this cruise? Maybe finding out who our waiters are or going on the water slide. Oh, oh yeah, soft serve, soft serve. We got the beef empanadas. We had these uh, a couple of cruises ago when we did a sit down lunch on embarkation day. We love these. 
I got leek and potato soup with soda bread. I think that's what this is. And then this is like cornbread or something. Lindsay is a connoisseur of cornbread. I got the gumbo soup. I got the gumbo too. Carrie got a salad without dressing. Well, there's dressing. It's just not here yet. All right, Lindsay, what are you excited about for this cruise? I'm not really excited about the water slides. Um, I'm excited like, to try uh, the new restaurants like this one and Lumiere's. It sounds really fun. I'm also like, really excited to start more moving. False alarm, sorry. I'm also really excited to uh, make new friends, so that'll be fun. So our entrees came. I got the sliced roast beef sirloin, and it has a double baked potato and green beans. It looks amazing. Carrie and the girls all got the panette pasta, panette pasta. We had it um, on Fantasy, and it's our favorite, one of our favorite pastas on the show. Yeah, the Embarkation Day lunch has some great menu options. And so if you are not dying for cabanas, or if it's really wet outside and raining, you should definitely come to the sit-down lunch. It's really, really good. So we're putting our order for dessert in, and we are going to be getting the carrot, one slice of carrot cake to share, and we're each getting our own welcome board sundae. That looks so, so good. I still remember how good that sundae is, so I'm excited to get it again. Alyssa, can I have your garnish? <laughs> what? I can't have it? Take a bit for the Aw, thanks, Linz. Welcome, Daddy. <laughs> How is it? I think you're gonna be doing that a lot this cruise. <laughs> so, good. so the desserts came, and just like that, they were gone. <laughs> they were good. We love the uh, sundaes here. It's like the perfect amount of ice cream in it. It's not too much. And we also got one slice of carrot cake. We've heard so many good things about the carrot cake on the embarkation lunch at the sit-down restaurant. We got it on the uh, Fantasy before, and it was okay. This was much better. The cake was dense and moist. The frosting actually tasted like lemon. It was really good. The girls and Carrie are finishing up theirs. Glad we came here. Why now, are you laughing at me, Chris? Now begins the week where we take the stairs all the time. Yep. Because it's what we do. Because I'm going to eat five desserts a day, so I'm going to take the stairs. Yep. And I'm not going to go to the gym. <laughs> so this is the way I do it. Because we're on vacation. Yes. What's wrong, Linz? You've been here forever. What is it? Yeah, there's mint soft serve, folks. Mint soft serve. Are you, is this your public service? There's no, mint yeah. soft serve? Mint soft serve. I found the mint soft serve. You did? Thank you. you. You're my hero, Landon. What are you looking at, Linz? That's not as steep as I thought. It's at? the water slider. Oh, wow. That's cool. It's not steep at all. Oh, but it looks... It looks really fun. I've changed my mind. Let's You're gonna do it? Oh, come on! Oh, that's a, oh, that's a baby slide. Come on. <laughs> it is a baby slide. You got this, sweetie. Oh, come on. No. Come on, you got this. Well, we just passed some friends, and they said they have mint soft serve. And we just saw it. It's mint and chocolate swirl. So, Landon, thank you for letting us know. Bryson, I know you're gonna want to take the credit for that, but. Landon's the one who said he found it and saw it first, so he gets the credit. Even though this is our fourth Disney cruise, we keep forgetting things. To register your kids for the clubs, at least for Vibe and Edge, you need to have your room key because they put a sticker on it and everything else. So before you go to Edge and Vibe to register your teens or preteens, make sure you get your stateroom key, your, state, your key to the world card, and then go there. By the way, we went to Edge, it was closed. They're doing some maintenance. We're gonna check into our room and then head up to Vibe. All right, here we are, 8026. All right, so this is our very first time in a family veranda stateroom, which means we have a pull-down Murphy bed in addition to the bunk bed set up here. What do you guys think? It's cool. It's definitely bigger. It is? Oh yeah, usually the door would be like right here. And you guys have even more storage there. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I totally got that. <laughs> Best part of the room. Oh yeah. Oh, we have a nice view right now. Very cool. Oh room. wow. Oh. He was wondering if these doors are childproof. They are. Yeah. <laughs> Child lit. <laughs> I know. Well, there you go. There you go. Let's check out this view. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at that. It's a bit murky, but. We got another bag with stateroom, key to the world card, holders, and lanyards. 
And we have a $200 oh. stateroom credit because yep. we booked through a travel agent, a Disney travel agent. Thank you to our travel agent. And she's always so helpful. I think we need some mint and chocolate saucer. That will help. That will help our brain bring yes. in better. Like, oh, my bad. Hi, I'm gonna give you the room tour. This is your host, Lindsay. Let's go into the bathroom, come with me. All right, here we have a lovely sink and a toilet, beautiful. And then there's little shelves to put all your thingabobs, thingamabobs on. Um, and then here's the shower bathroom. We've had a beautiful shower there. We've got some more shelves and towels and things. Um, here's, oh, they still use the H2O, that's great. Uh, they got the body lotion. They've got the shampoo, the body wash, and the conditioner. They've got the bathroom. Um, I mean, the shower. That's great. And then there's a little ladder here. Okay, that's cool. Um, we've got the closet with the life jackets in case of emergency. Another one there. We've got a, is that a microwave or is that a safe? That's, what do you think? I think that's a safe. Oh, that's safe. Um, <laughs> shelves. We have shelves. We've got uh, more life jackets and hangers. We've got lots of space there for suits or dresses of all kinds. We've got some fancy water. Oh, and that's not water. Glasses. We have glasses in there. Little coaster things. Tops? I don't know. Um, got more drawers. Would you look at that? They made two into one. So cool, so innovative. Um, we have things in here. What are these? Our friend Karen got those ones. Oh, cool. Thank you, Karen. Um, we have the shoe space. There's my black Crocs, beautiful. We have the master bed. We have plugs of some sort. Um, USB. European plugs, that's fancy. Um, we've got the telephone. I shouldn't touch that. Um, we've got the light, it's so fancy, and it's like a map of the world with little Mickeys on it, it's what beautiful. What happens to your, uh, voice? Yeah, I get like that sometimes. Um, there's my phone, I don't know why it's on the camera, Alyssa was probably taking pictures again. Um, we've got the little curtain in case you guys want privacy. We've got Kendall on the water from Pete's Dragon, I haven't watched that movie yet. It's a beautiful TV that's extendable. That would have been bad if it wasn't, and I just kind of ripped it out. That would have been bad. Um, we've got space for all the things. All the things. Um, we've got mini fridge. We've got space. Oh, it comes with a hair dryer. How fancy is that? Space for clothes and thingamabobs. Oop. Pictures of Minnie and Postcards. Mickey, post postcards I see, pens and envelopes and papers and things, and then, oh, so it's like room service, you can check what you want to get and then leave it on the door for room service to bring to you, that's really cool, for breakfast. All more shelves, we've got a little chair, we've got really big dressers, all the shelves and things, and then there's a beautiful picture right there. Pirates of the Caribbean, 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 I don't know. That's very controversial apparently. Uh, oh, and here's the Murphy bed. Don't know how to bring it out. And this is the couch that turns into a bunk bed. Very cool, very slow. That, that turns into the top bunk right there. Um, and then, oh, I did it, I opened it. And then here is the beautiful balcony last but not least with chairs, a table and another chair. A mom and a sissy. Yes. Um, I believe that is all we have goodbye we have curtains we can lock them out if we wish yeah it's all secure beautiful so we don't need the sun shining through all right i think that concludes our room tour so thank you for watching hi Alyssa, my dear sister how are you okay be careful i don't want to die all right, our luggage had just come as we were leaving, so we put that uh, in the room, didn't put our stuff away yet. We're going to get soft serve, but this water is crazy. It's been puddling up, and you can see them uh, mopping it up there. All right, here we go. Mint and chocolate. Alyssa is trying the mint chocolate swirl. This might be my new favorite soft serve flavor. Oh, that's a good one, Alyssa. 
Oh yeah. Yeah? Oh yeah. Let me you know if you that mine is better. Comment down below who's better. How do you like it? Okay, this is a good one. Oh, that is a good one. Oh my gosh. That's really good. It's good. Better than banana? I don't like banana. That's right, you're weird. You don't like banana. It's really good. Don't know if it's better than banana. I kind of think I like banana better still. But I love that they have mint. Never had it before on Disney ship. So good. Now we're going to go up to Vibe and check the girls in. So we're coming up on deck 12, I think. This is the only thing on deck 12 is Vibe. Vibe has a giant window outside one of the uh, funnels, just like Edge does on the Fantasy. We're actually checking in Lindsay here, and because Edge is uh, down for maintenance right now, we're going to check in Alyssa here as well. <laughs> Girls going crazy on uh, video games, but as soon as you walk into Vibe, you can see the daily schedule for all the activities and events happening. You see this is New Orleans Day, Embarkation Day. It has all the activities happening today. You can also find all of that in the Navigator app as well. All right, back to our stateroom. Time to unpack. It's one thing we really like doing the first day and to get it out of the way, get it done with. If we wait till after dinner tonight, we're gonna be really tired. That's a pro tip. Unpack as soon as you can when you have time in the afternoon. When you say like, you don't mean enjoy, right? You just mean... I like unpacking more than packing back up. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> yeah. We're in the middle of unpacking and I just realized I brought <laughs> two different black shoes. Thankfully, I also brought some tan colored shoes that I could wear with a dress, but I was gonna have also black. And this takes up so much space and I can't wear them. And they're heavy with those well, like actually, heels. You can hurt they, someone with those they things. They are for two separate shoe feet. I could just wear them. Sure. Okay. That'll be fun. Yeah. See, it'll be fun to play that game and see who's, who notices first. Oh yeah, totally. That'll work. Yeah. We just opened the door to put uh, start putting some magnets outside and we had a gift already. It is from Adam and Cherry Leg, and th because this is a viewer cruise, they have some gifts for us. Look, girls. Super slay. Super slay. Yeah. Yeah. It's bussin'. Slay. No. And we have a message on a little postcard here, which we'll read in a second. We have an itinerary. Oh, and this is really cool. Thank you for spreading the magic. Your service stood out to us. Okay, so we're supposed to, this probably says it on the explanation. We're gonna find someone to give this to. A crew member. As like, yes, a crew member as a special gift. So that's really cool. It, um, again, it says your service stood out to us and we wanted to make sure you knew it was recognized and appreciated. So they've given one of these with $5 to everyone um, who is registered with the viewer cruise, which is 67 within cabin. So yeah. that means about at least somewhere around 60 servers or crew members will get a little bonus appreciation. So that's really cool. Oh, okay, there's more. Be kind for no reason sticker, which yeah. you have had on your water bottle forever. Do you want that one? I want this one. Um, viewer cruise hosted by Lake Life. Uh, that's mine. And we have a sticker, I mean a magnet. That'll go on our door. We have more Mardi Gras oh, beads. Yeah. And okay, this is really cool. I saw this in their vlog. Um, he got these. Fine. Wait, let me explain them so you don't just like gobble them down with you without even tasting the deliciousness. And okay. looking at it, there's something Let's cool. Patricia. So I know they were trying to find something special, some special chocolate, and they went to a, a local for them, Alaska candy company. Okay. So this is like, I think a lot, the Alaskan Wildberry store, but it just says, thank you. Which is awesome. I love and that. And it's St. Patrick's Day, so it's a gold coin. And it's chocolate from Alaska. And it's chocolate from Alaska, and Lindsay's about to eat it. Thank you, Adam and Cherry. If you're not already following uh, Leg Life uh, here on YouTube or even on Instagram, give them a follow. They are amazing. I know a bunch of uh, you that are watching this know who they are, but a bunch of you probably don't either. So if you are not aware, they are an amazing couple from Alaska. They live in Anchorage and they share a lot from their life there, but also a lot of their travels. And they have so many great Disney Cruise vlog series uh, that they've done. And that's that's how we connected with them. So they're amazing. They're great friends. We're so happy to be on here with them and so many other people. But make sure you guys go subscribe to Lake Life because they're awesome. I got my lanyard all set. I love it. Thank you guys. We just got the alarm that the old school mustard drill is back. And it's been back for a while, but it's the first time for us. The announcement said, watch something on the TV. We turned it on after the announcement was over. Watch the video and we're heading to our station. I guess this is, this is back to the new normal. So here we go. Our station to report to was in the Walt Disney Theater. So this is nice to sit down instead of standing on the deck. That went pretty quick. 
It was mostly painless. Let's go have some fun now. It looks like there's no sail away party today. Uh, it was really rainy all morning. And I think they just had to cancel it because it looked like the weather was gonna continue into the early evening. But right now it's dry outside, but it's cold. So I'm gonna go back in, get a sweatshirt because I don't have one on me. Then I'm gonna meet the family up on deck 10. And we're gonna watch as we sail away from New Orleans. We are taking off. It's hard to tell, but you can see us moving when you look at the bridge. I think we're pivoting and we missed the Mickey horn blast. Well, Chris missed it because he was getting a sweater and I missed it because I misunderstood and plugged my ears. <laughs> It's okay, we've heard it a lot. I heard I heard part of it. Well, I'm sure I could play a sound effect of it and it'll we can pretend act it. like it. Oh yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go. Ready? Uh, Yay, we're sailing away on a, Mickey, on, on a Disney cruise. I was about to say Mickey cruise. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're professionals. The girls are doing something. They're taking time to photos. Trying to get to take the picture of a midair. Well, this is part of the fun of sailing away from New Orleans because usually you don't have to go too far and you're out of open sea. Not this time. Yeah, it's a long, if you if you go on Google Earth and, and look at New Orleans and then you zoom in close, you can see how far the Mississippi River actually has to go before you get to the ocean. When it's far out, it looks like it's right next to it, but it, it isn't, I guess it's like a hundred miles. Yeah, it's in, we've heard it said that it's like seven to eight hours to actually hit open ocean from when you take off. Yeah. So we're not gonna be outside the whole time. I'm just really thankful it's not raining because yes. it was pouring earlier and this is one of my favorite things to do. I just love when we sail away. It's such an exciting time and we actually get to be outside on the deck, so. And I love how we're giving it everyone a 360 view of New Orleans right now because the ship is literally pivoting on a dime. And you're seeing New the city of New Orleans behind us as we just stand here. Here is the terminal we just left out of. I don't know if it was that one or if it was that one. I want to say it was that one right there. Goodbye New Orleans. Hello Gulf of Mexico and then the Caribbean Ocean about eight hours from now. So we brought some binoculars and Carrie is looking for alligators. I think I saw a stick. That's not an alligator. We are about to go head down to the theater to go see a magic and ventriloquist possibly comedy too show. That, that should be pretty fun. Yeah. We're actually going down a little early because I don't know if it's really going to be early. There's probably already people there, but on our very first cruise, it was just like, just show up right when it starts and you can sit wherever you want. Since then, we've realized if you want a good seat, you have to get there early. I don't know if this actually constitutes as early, so. Probably not, but. But we should get going. We're going to get going. Yeah. More importantly, welcome to the Disney Magic. Great to see you all here. And Let it go. A lawyer. <laughs> you're an attorney at law. Mm -hmm. You went to law school and you passed the bar. Yes. But you're a pig. So? Pig say suey? I say sue you. Get out of here. <laughs> we just got back from the Taylor Mason. He is a comedian, a ventriloquist, a musician, and it was amazing. He is so talented. It was so fun, so funny, so good. I mean, yeah. I laughed so hard. Um, he did a really fun job of bringing up people onto the stage and just doing a great job having them help with the entertainment. There's so many Broadway shows on the Disney cruises, but they also have other acts on some nights and sometimes we don't go. Mm -hmm. Whenever we do go though, I always think that was really fun and I'm so glad we went to this one. Yep. Looks like Lindsay's back. And Lindsay's back. Oh, hi Lindsay. How are you? Hi, I'm good. That was not planned at all. We yep. haven't seen no. her in several hours. Apparently she made new friends. Yeah, it's cool. Alyssa really loved the show, so maybe she could tell you a little about it too. So what did you think about the Taylor Mason show? It was really funny, I thought, and uh, I I kind of wish I would have been selected for at least one of them. But yeah, you were jumping up and down trying to get yeah, the attention. <laughs> especially the attention for you or mom. Yeah, I'm no. glad he didn't see that. I'm, I'm, I was trying I'm to sad. hide. I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, but it was really funny. Yeah. We're here at Rapunzel's Royal Table for dinner tonight, and I'm actually not here with Carrie. They may already be here. They may already be here. Maybe not. But I. Oh, they are here. I see them. So I'm gonna join them. We're actually sitting with friends for dinner. The whole cruise is gonna be so much fun. Can't wait to sit down and enjoy some good food. Looks like we have a guys and girls section here. As 
it should be. What's up, right? Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, Lance. It's good to see you. Hello. The ladies are all on that side of the table. And the men are right here. Well, Justin's leaving. I'm not sure where he's going, but. landed. Oh, okay. Oh. You guys are here. So there's a whole bunch of lines on the video. Just ignore it. There's a beet salad, a goat cheese, yellow, and red beet salad. I almost guarantee Carrie got that. She is obsessed with beets. Not sure what else she got, but all the guys pretty much ordered the same thing. So I actually ordered the drink of the day. I saw Adam have this at lunch, and I decided, yep, I'm gonna wait till dinner. It's called the Celtic Twilight, and it's got like peppermint patty syrup, uh, toffee vodka, Irishman whiskey, and almond milk. I'm excited to drink this. I also got the uh, mushroom truffle soup. I think I've had this before in a different ship. This looks so good. How's the soup? Yeah. Thank you coming to the party. Nice to meet you. You don't have to check those, but what about this one? Real hand. You want to check that in? Very good. All right, nice to meet you. See, now I want to ask strangers in here. What can I say? It's, you know, I lost a fight to the grizzly bear, but it's okay. You'll learn new things. You're very brave, you know that? See you later, my friend. Have a good party. Make sure you eat your treat. All right, see you later. I kind of just assumed you'd be getting this. The beets? Yeah. I did. So you got the beets. And she got you got the same thing I did. Yep. Looks yummy. I hope you like it. Hi I got the knock first for appetizer, just like Carrie did. I already cut mine up, so if you guys want to see what it looks like, I'll show you a good one on Bryson's plate, because we all got the same thing. Yeah. How is it? So I got the trio of veal. That's what the inside of the veal looks like right there. It also came with some tortellinis, just a bunch of other stuff. And it's not a big portion. Wishing I ordered something else with it. Uh, I got the steak. Don't know what it's called. I know it's cow. So I just cut into my steak and it's not too red, but it looks really good. Alyssa's getting a little extra help from her server. Look at that knife fly. See you last bite, last bite. Yeah! Here comes the airplane! <laughs> Thank you. How is it? Good. Alyssa just stepped away from the table, and Lindsay and I have been like chowing on her potatoes. They are good. So, those are truffle layered potatoes. They are so, so good. And her steak is cooked really, really well. So, they just brought us another one of these trio of veals. It is so good. And Justin ordered a second one. Bryson ordered a second one. And Adam did. We are in love with this dish. It's Rapunzel and she's leaving. Wow, that was fast. Rapunzel knows nothing about content. Nope. This is not gonna be a normal type of uh, dinner for us on this cruise. We're eating with all these friends. We're having a blast, but it's not gonna be how we normally do things. What'd you get? I got the bread pudding. Can I have your garnish? No. Please, that one no, looks really hands good. Off. Yeah. Hands off. Hands off. Yeah. It's right there in front of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try the pudding. Oh. Good? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. I got three desserts. I got the white chocolate bread pudding, I think. And then I got the Rapunzel's birthday cupcake, which is filled with cookies and cream filling. Yeah. So this is called a saucer tort. It's a chocolate tort with apricot. Justin's having a reaction to this food. So good. So good. Dear Lord, why would you put this good food in front of me? <laughs> He's kind of angry, happy about it, I think. Yeah, we are all talking about this uh, white chocolate bread pudding. It's got toasted coconut, butterscotch sauce, uh, vanilla ice cream. It is seriously some of the best bread pudding I've had, too. It's amazing. So 
So good. The bread pudding, probably my favorite thing that I've had like for cruise desserts. It's really good. Yeah, I like it more than the upper cake. Well, I'm gonna finish up this bread pudding, then I'm gonna tackle that uh, cupcake over there and see how it is. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to touch this thing. I'll probably have a bite or two. Have you bite? But so far, this thing is amazing. And Alyssa wants to know if she can have my garnish. We'll see. <laughs> so that cupcake, it's pretty good. Nowhere near the good, as good as that bread pudding. That is all I had of that uh, chocolate tort cake. It was really good, but oh, that white chocolate bread pudding was so, so good. Dinner is going to be a lot different than we usually experience <laughs> in our vlogs. So you probably won't see a lot of detail about our food. You might even see just pictures and we might talk about it later. I'm not sure, but regardless, it was really good. The company was even better. Right now, I think we're going to head to 80s music trivia. So. That's gonna be awesome. So we got Tiana over here and we got a bunch of paparazzi over here. <laughs> Love that memory that she's making for that uh, little girl. That's awesome. So we just got done with dinner. How was dinner for you? Because I didn't see you or talk know, to you much, much so at all. Um, so weird. It was, it was fun. Yeah. It was just fun to hang out and, and it was weird though because usually we like try all the dishes together. I know. So we each just got a one dish. Well, I had several, but everything was very good. Yeah. Like always, it was just a fun atmosphere. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun to hang out with everyone. All right, here we go. Crystal's jamming. I'm loving that artwork right there. That is seriously epic. So we got a team of four here going uh, for 80s trivia. Oh, here we go. So far, we're doing really good. I still don't think we're going to win, but I think we're doing good. Eh. I think we're doing good within our friend group. Oh, yeah, because they're younger than us. We're older. So we didn't do that good. We got seven. I don't even know who the winner is, but I know it's not gonna be us. All right, so we got snippets going on here. Back-to-back -back game shows. They're gonna play a little clip, and then we have to guess who or what it's from. You raise your hand if you know, think you know it, they pick someone, and, come, and you come up, and you let them know what the answer is, or at least what you think the answer is. But we are All right, so our friend Crystal is up there against oh, yeah, seven other people. Crystal is gonna rap Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme for bonus points. This is her time to shine. How's your night going, guys? It's going good. It's been a long day. It's been a long, great day. Yeah. First day on the ship is always, it feels like you've been here for a really long time, but in a very good way. So yep. it's been a very long, fun, <laughs> tiring day. And here's Lindsay. Hi. How was your day? It's good, it's fun. Yeah, what were you doing tonight? Singing karaoke, like tequila, and a song from Panic at the Disco that I've never heard before. Singing tequila, the uh, song? Yeah. Good. Real quick, just tell us what was your favorite thing today? Okay. Making my friends, that was really fun. Awesome. Well, good way to start with the cruise. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. What was your favorite thing today? It, honestly, dinner was laughing. We were talking with friends and, and eating really good food. It was so fun. Yeah, that was really fun. Dinner was fun. The The show was really fun. The um, Tyler Mason, he was really funny and entertaining. So that yep. was fun. And just, yeah, just getting on board and seeing people. Meeting a lot of people, seeing people, some for the first time because not everyone made it to the meetup. It was a great first day. It was. And tomorrow is a day at sea. We have some things we want to show you well in the next vlog which will be next week for you guys lindsay's waving at us from the from elevator. the elevator we have polo brunch with friends tomorrow yes that's gonna be awesome i think we're gonna probably try the aqua dunk dunk i'm excited for it the girls are excited for it and yeah looking Hopefully forward to that we'll have better weather yes yeah thank you again so much for joining us on our first day on the disney magic it was so fun well we'll see you again next time yep see you again soon love you guys Bye. Bye.